I think that settles the debate. <laughs> Amid the laughs of the White House Correspondents' Dinner this weekend, one guest enjoyed his invite for a more serious reason. I, I consider the, the dinner at White House is my, my last supper, so I'll go back and embrace the dead. Ashif Entaj Robi, a Bangladeshi blogger, resigned to the reality of the danger he faces at home. Last year, after extremists hacked to death a publisher of secular books, Robi devoted an episode of his TV talk show to the killing. While the TV show was going on, many phone calls were coming to threaten me. And uh, three days after the TV talk show, there is a website of that militant group. They published my picture that he invites some kind of anti-Islamic people in the TV show. And, uh, and it's not acceptable. So let's punish him. Let's send him to God. And from that moment, it uh, just uh, like... I was playing some kind of hide and seek game. Roby says the Bangladeshi authorities have offered him and his family little protection. Part of his game of hide and seek, a hastily planned visit to the U.S., sponsored by press freedom groups. For the last uh, six months, I was not able to sleep. So if I want to tell you why I'm here, I will tell you that I have come here to have a sound sleep before my death. Raising awareness about the increasing dangers social activists and writers face, Roby is meeting top State Department human rights officials. Since October of last year, at least 10 people have been hacked to death in targeted assassinations in Bangladesh. Just last week, the Bangladeshi branch of Al-Qaeda claimed responsibility for the murders of two gay rights activists. On Tuesday, PEN America, a free speech group, along with several other human rights organizations, called for a UN investigation into the murders. Yet Roby's government denies that groups like Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State have a presence there. Roby is also seeking emergency sanctuary for himself and others on the extremist hit list. So I hope that at least U.S. Department, State Department, they will open a small door for me so that, uh, so that I, can, I can live a little longer. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.